Okay, it is Sammy's turn for our week three video recap. We are wrapping it up this week. Puppies are gonna go home. Where's your toy? Oh my goodness, look at you. Where's your toy? You love the play tug. Look at you. Get it, get it. Nice job, puppy. Good boy. Okay, let me get rid of that for a second. Look at him. He's like, hey, where'd you put my toy? We'll play again at the end, okay? So we're going to start just like we have been. Always start by charging the clicker for a couple of reps. Is somebody excited? Look at this guy. Look at you. There we go. These puppies love to train. Yeah, well, you got to swallow that one first. There you go. Hey, chew it up. Good boy. Okay. Did you finish it? Nice. <laughs> All right, then we're going to do some following of the food lure. These two are stuck together. Sammy. So we're going to go a lot farther with our food lure. Wow. Okay. Sammy. Yeah, perfect job, puppy. Good boy. Okay, do that again. Nice. Look at you. Good boy. Okay. And we'll do some hand targets. Sammy touch. Good boy. And on the ground. Switch hands. Sammy touch. So smart. He jumps up to get the treat. I'm feeding him when he's got his feet on the ground, okay? Sammy, touch. That's better, good boy. Okay, smart boy. Let's do some of those position changes. Put these up. Sammy, where are you? Come here, sit. What a good sit. You are so smart. Okay, Sammy, sit, good puppy, what a good boy, okay, and now some down, sit, down, good, down, and we're feeding for duration so that he holds his down, okay? Want a puppy to stay in that position. Good boy. Until I say, okay. Sammy, sit. Down. Good boy. Very nice job, buddy. Wow, look at you. Okay. So that's kind of a theme for week three is just that we're getting these positions and things, having the dogs hold them for longer periods of duration, okay? It's really hard, especially for a baby. So now we're gonna do the same with our mat. Sammy, where's your mat? I wanna see if he can offer me the down and I can help him if he doesn't after a few seconds. There it is. But I like to try to give the dog some time to figure it out on their own. Okay. Good boy. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're also adding distance to our mat behavior. You can see I'm just taking a couple steps away. Good boy, Sammy. Very good boy. Good job. If he gets up a little bit, I'm just not letting him have the cookie till he's back in the down position. Okay, release him off. Do that again. This is where we're really starting to get that stay out of the puppy. Where's your mat? I'm gonna give him some time. I'm gonna see if he can offer me the down.
<laughs> oh, come here. I'm gonna help him. Good. And all I did to help him was I just pointed. Didn't even have any food in my hand. Uh-oh. Good boy. There we go. Uh-oh. Good job. Wow. See, I'm just gonna wait for him to lay down before I give him that treat. Perfect. Okay. All right, let's do that one more time. Let me reload, you're so cute. Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay, gonna put our mat down. Where's your mat? <laughs> there we go. Good boy. So I clicked that, but I'm just gonna get him on the mat a little bit better. There we go. That was silly boy. That was so silly. It's like he put in a solid effort there kind of rolled off the mat and got himself back on. But I want like the dog's whole body to be on the mat. So I clicked it and I gave him a cookie for it, but I used that cookie to get him a little bit more square on the mat. Good job, buddy. Okay. Awesome. All right, so that's what you're gonna keep working on with the mat at home. Today I'm just taking a couple steps away from him when he's on his mat. You wanna keep working on more and more steps away, a little bit longer duration if a stay type behavior is important to you. I love this behavior because I can put my dog on their mat when I'm eating dinner or maybe in the kitchen when I'm cooking so they're not begging, right? So there's a lot of applications to the, um, to the mat behavior. Sammy, kennel, yeah, come on. Yeah, you know this one. Good job, buddy. There you go. Good job. So for week three, we also added a little duration to the kennel as well. Okay, so I'm just closing the door. And when I open it back up, he gets a click and a cookie inside as well. Good boy. Okay. Release him out. Good job, Bobby. Sammy, kennel. Good, so he gets a click and cookie for going in. We're gonna close the door. Okay, so like I'm not, I don't really need to leave him in the crate right now. This is just a game that we play to create lots of value for the crate, right? Even though the door is opened, I'm still clicking and feeding him for staying in. Okay, let me get a refill. We'll do that one more time. more than one treat. I want value to be in the kennel. Okay. All right, that was good. Good job, Bubs. So again, working on more duration of being inside the crate for our crate games. Let's get you in your harness now. bit different harness because these puppies have grown a lot in the last week. Need a bigger size. This is the size Ziggy started with though. Okay, wow, look at you. Good job. Now before I set him down and we play the flying cookie game, maybe I'll just trim a couple of nails. Just a couple, right? Like you don't have to do all of them all at once. 
do enough that they get used to the handling. Yay! And then set them down and do something fun! Ready, buddy? Get it! There's a big piece! Sammy! Wow! Good job! Get it! Sammy! Ooh, good puppy! Get it! Sammy! Come here, boy, you want to do one more? Get it! Sammy! Perfect! Yay! Good job! Good boy! Alright, so now we're going to wrap it up with just a little bit of body handling. Ear, yes. Yes. Good boy. Tail, yes. Okay. A little restraint. Yeah, good boy. You saw that one on the ground. I stole it. Gotta earn it. Foot, yes. Another foot. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. So that's everything for week three. Here's your toy. Here's your toy. Whoa. Oh, good boy. You want your flirt pole? Get it. Nice job, Sammy. Good boy. You want to make sure that you book your Zoom lesson after your puppy goes home, since they're going home this weekend. Um, if you, you can use the link that's in your initial confirmation email to book that lesson. Make sure you use the code so that you get your discount. Um, my, I do have Zoom availability open through the end of August, and there will be more availability posted once we get closer to September. If you have any questions, you can just shoot us an email. But we will see you at your Zoom lesson.